Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. Indeed. Well, These what do we dresses got here? were made by a carriage. Look. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. Alright, so let's go ahead and take another measurement. Nothing interesting here. What? The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. So it's six feet, seven inches. So that's just that's the same exact car um, from uh, Evesham. Yeah. Well, we got something new here. So special transport was used to carry something very heavy to the lake. Hold on, let's go ahead and make this. Old railway to the quarry and the stolen rail track. No? What about this? There we go. Alright, so the train could have been sunk in the flooded quarry at Doncaster Station, or the train cannot be sunk in the flooded quarry because the old railway that leads there is missing some rails. No, but we have, like, he, they, they stole some rail parts to make a track, so it could have been sunk. Did they bust a dam to be able to fill the fucking quarry? Are you kidding me? I think that's what happened. I think that they got sunk. I don't give a shit what it's all these fallacies here. I think that that's what happened. I really, really do think that. I think that the Mexicans got very upset that the Chileans try to, you know, bust in on their shit, on their business, and they exacted revenge. This place was abandoned fairly recently. And I think the further I dig, the more evident that possibility is going to become. And there's blood there. I can't seem to access it, but, you know, that's there. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. So yeah, the dam was breached, just like I said. Okay, so ref refuse left on sand. A metal plate. Las Zarpas. A label with the name Las Zarpas. Oh, there it is, right here. The Las Zarpas barges are leaders in heavy goods transportation. The Las Zarpas uh, label belongs to the Mexican consortium Caracal, who covers shipping, electricity services, and mining. Here it is. All right, I'm really starting to think that what I what what my suspicion is is actually true. All right, um, no, there we go. The Mexicans had real recently utilized barges at the lake, probably to transport something very heavy. Definitely not the train. <laughs> uh, that's just such bullshit. There's something here. There is something additional here that I just haven't fully pieced together yet. Okay, so... Um, I still need to examine the mines? No, I don't think it's hidden there. So I'm going to go talk to the guy at Doncaster now. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? 
No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. I thought you were Mexican. Hmm. Could he be lying? He put. He's probably. He could be lying. If they did something fucked up, then it would make sense as to why he'd lie. Hold on. Martial arts? What is he like defensive right now? Why? Why is it that like the way his hands are like at the moment indicate that he knows martial arts? Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation? What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions! When I start this. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that part. Yeah, that guy's full of shit. Alright, um, the Me the Mexican. That's just his name. Mexican. Judging by the expensive brand of, his, of this man's cigars and the clothes that he wears, we may conclude that he is financially wealthy. The strong smell of tobacco surrounds him and his breathing is, uh, is harsh, indicating that he has been smoking heavily for the past few days. The backs of his hands are red and callous, the sign of a man who is well-practiced in martial arts. Oh, okay. Alright, so that answers that one question I had. Huh, okay. I think the Mexicans are angry, yeah. Okay, so we have a new thing here. So the Mexican Caracal Company held a grudge against the Chilean Barcazas group. As the Chileans were favored for uh, purchasing the WEA coal mines despite the Mexican's preliminary sales contract. Or was that contact or contract? I want to read that again. Yeah, contract. All right. So the Mexicans organized the Chileans to stay on the train. That is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the, Ch the Chileans. Okay. <laughs> I was right. I, f I was definitely right. Okay, hold on a sec. So there's something... So maybe it did pass Chesterfield? Okay. The train has been sunk in the flooded quarry. And the ma the Mexicans drowned the Chileans. It was carefully it was a carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train in a flooded quarry to hide their crime. So uh, would I rather go with blind justice? Uh, the Mexicans' inhumanity towards the Chileans has cost many lives. We must act quickly. Co contact Lestrade and allow the police to perform their loud and swift justice, even at the ri risk of international conflict. Or would I rather play a political game? A criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turned in, uh, to his own advantage. You know... I would have to say that my initial response would be blind justice, because this is what everybody wants. It's like, don't let him get away with it. But at the same time, this is a very, you know, this is a very touchy sort of situation. You know, this is, you know, a political issue, you know, an international problem. Having the, the just random police officers arrest him, arrest them, and charge them, it's going to become a very muddied problem, and it could potentially just, you know, f blow up right in their face. It might not even work. You know, if politically it can be resolved, you know, through different channels, it might work out better. Um, even if uh, it's not exactly the most attractive of ideas, um, logically it might make, make more sense. So I'm going to play the political game.
Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble, but it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. May we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, but... Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case. In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. It, it pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk. But he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! Uh-oh. Not good. What's happening? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That was close. Good shot, Watson. I always knew you were a talented marksman. I didn't want another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? Yes, but not in our sitting room, and not with you wearing a blindfold. Ho ho ho. Alright, so it was a uh, carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train to hide their crime. The damn breach was played to their advantage. They used their own barges to keep the train on the run for a few seconds, and then sank it to the flooded quarry. Uh, the railway tracks were removed to hide their crime. A criminal organization such as this cannot be co uh, confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. The decision was made to give Mycroft a chance to resolve the conflict himself. Alright, so let's find out. Oh, I missed a clue. Shit. That's not good. Oh, well. Um, I think that I am very satisfied with this, though, and I'm, I'm happy 
that I uh, played out this case the same way that I did the prior one, even though the prior one was not as fun and it definitely wasn't as interesting. I really did enjoy this case actually a lot, and uh, it makes me excited for what we have. I think there's six total cases, so we're about a third of the way done with the game now. Um, but yeah, th this was definitely far more interesting, kept me more intrigued uh, as it went on, and even though it was easier to come across clues, at least in my opinion, uh, it might just be because I was so, like, I've gotten a feel for the game, it might just be because of that, but, um, even though it was easier to come across stuff for me, and it was easier for me to solve things, um, I still felt less sure of myself as I kept going on, it, and, and it didn't feel like I was going through the motions, it felt like I was genuinely, you know, going at my own pace and trying to figure things out on my own, and that is you know, the sign of a good detective game. So this was, this was a great case. I really enjoyed it, and I'm excited for the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I missed. Kill him. Shit up. How do ghosts bleed exactly? How does that work? Haha! <laughs>